welcome to one of my best shows on planet earth i mean it's essential and this show pop casa lots of stories are popping so many casala and i jj raymond alongside my guests who are here we'll be analyzing all of them two hashtags made it to pop casa today hashtag mm. Okay, Chris Langro and hashtag Mike Tyson. I've got the filmmaker who is right here too to thrill you with all his angles. So stick around. Welcome to Pop Casa. Today I've got two interesting personalities first i have a filmmaker from lagos nigeria right here his name sam scott how you doing bro i'm fine thank you good to see you uh, i like that very sexy voice but i'm sure you're going to switch very soon <laughs> and of course i've got the ever blazing babalola bonlanle oh uh, come on right. bob how you doing girl i'm fine good to see you looking thank radiant you. as always <laughs> thank you thank okay you. let's go straight to the stories now this week the Nigerian media space was buzzing with intense conversation following the news that broke about a sex scandal about teenagers at Queensland School, Lagos. There are so many arms to this case. The school has been accused of covering up the alleged rape of a 10-year-old female pupil. Some reports have it that the female student participated in a, in a game of truth and dare, or truth or dare, in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, alongside other students who were representing the school in the World School Games between March 10 and 13, 2022, of course, right there at Dubai. The news, which was first reported by a Nigerian blogger and music executive, Ubi Franklin, in a tweet on Sunday, said the girl was raped by her fellow students, videotaped and shared on Instagram while adding that the school covered up the incident for a month until the victim's parents discovered all that video. He followed with the video of the mother of the child. Take a look. Cry to everyone to help me out. A month ago, I was on my way out of Lagos. So I got a call from Mrs. Azike, a head teacher from Chris Land. So she called me that she needed to see me. I said, okay, that I'll come when I return back. When I got to the school, I met her with two other women in, in her office. One introduced herself as Mrs. Ke uh, Mrs. Kemi. I don't, I can't remember her surname and the other one. So that they came from Chris Land headquarters i said okay is there a problem they said no that they just wanted me to know that my daughter whom i left in their care that they took to dubai that she she had a kiss with a boy and the boy also kissed her so they found out that they got that uh, kissing thing from true and dear Okay, I try to keep a straight face while talking about this because, however, Chris Lance Cool authorities in a letter to the girl's parents dated April 14 said she was the ring leader of the Truth or Dare game. Wow. The school disclosed that other schoolmates who took part in the game had been suspended, adding that the girl and her parents did not cooperate during the investigation. Meanwhile, the Lagos state government on Monday announced that. The school, that's Queensland schools in the state, all of them being shut down following the allegation. And the Commission of Education also said that the circulation of this video involving the children is an offense punishable by 14 years imprisonment. Now, if this story had ended up there, I think there would have been peace. But just days after the whole scandal broke, a school media page of the team surfaced online. I'll take that again. I'm saying a school a video of that thing surfaced online. I mean, her own social media page. And it showed us that she had a track record of posting age inappropriate dance videos. Now, a lot of questions popping up right here in my head. First of all, who is to blame in this situation? I'll start with you, the lady. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Like, who would you actually blame? Okay. First of all, let's start from maybe 
the school. Do you think the school handled this properly? Scott, what do you think? Well, no, because from the, what the mother said, I don't see the reason you will call the mother and then try to lie that somebody kissed your... She said kissed. Kissed your <laughs> daughter and then the person kissed back. I mean, no. Okay. Uh, first of all, I, so, I must say that I didn't see that video. So I really don't. But from what I heard, you know, yeah. that there was an, a, an involvement of both parties. I mean, the girl and a boy, you know, minors, actually. So here's the thing. Reports that got to us was that probably the mom didn't see the video before she said. What she said. Yes. Okay. what she said she was she she made the video based on what she claimed she was told by the teachers, by the teachers yes. now news going around on social media says uh, uh, those that have seen it are claiming that that wasn't it it was more than that so now the question is who do we blame do we say the the teachers that went with them to dubai were negligent or is it that chris landed not put proper measures into place or her daughter herself is not confident enough to confide in the mother about what happened Okay, a lot of questions arising from this. Now, a lot of people are pulling the negligence card, saying that the school was negligent during the whole, um, you know, the excursion they went for, or the games they went for. I mean, the World School Games. Now, do you agree to that? Would you agree, Scott? Yes, I think um, I was speaking with one of um, my insider told me that there were like more than 70 students okay. that went to Dubai. And you believe me that it was just only two teachers. <laughs> two teachers that we are sent to overlook more than 70 students. Wow. That's totally wrong. That's absurd. Are you serious? It does not, it does not, it does not tally. Uh, so how do you expect them to overlook more than 70 students? Wait, so what? at that point, the school has already failed. So they have, was it like male and female teacher assigned to... The and different words. So there's one female teacher. For, how is that even possible? No, how is that even possible? Well, how is that supposed to work? Well, I, 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 I did probe further to know the gender, but I learned that it was an aged. So how many teacher. rooms did they get for these kids? How did they divide them in the hotel that's, or accommodation now, they provided this, now, for them? Now, now, now Who that's is the supervising that them? Who are they reporting to? Because, because I believe if you want to do this, you say, okay, we have more than 70 people. Yes. 70 students. You know what? Okay, let's have like almost 10 teachers so we will now do 10 to 1 10 to 1 10 to 1 in that you can be able to monitor mm. what they are doing now i believe most of it i didn't see the video i didn't bother i was just reading comments on twitter and and the whole lot of speculation that it was after night out that they sneak into it and i said this is wrong i went to boarding school i love okay. boarding school my children who attend boarding school no listen, i'm coming i'm coming this is me this is me because that's a whole lot that's a whole lot you need to learn Especially self dependent on your own, it works. On body schools? No, body schools. I remember back then, we have body masters that do world round. <laughs> Immediately there is light out, the man does not sleep, he mm -hmm. keeps monitoring, like doing the first round, check, second round, Sounds third right. round. Chere, wait, and let me tell you something. Sure wait, first. That most of us that don't eat cook at night. Uh, the man will catch you. Uh, wait, first. You know that this so thing that you're talking the about. The school failed. I'm sure it was like that time two okay. that I was in boarding school. Yes. Sam, number one, we didn't have mobile phones then. Yeah, we didn't. Good. Yeah, you're right. Number two, social media was not a thing. Exactly. Okay. Yes. So if you're not learning it outside, you're learning it on a device, or you're okay. seeing other people around you do it, and then there's this there's a place of peer pressure as well. Yes. Okay. So. Let's get back to the parents this time because, you know, you've been talking about uh, monitoring and peer pressure mm -hmm. and learning from social media and a lot of things, mm -hmm. you know. A lot of comments on social media are pointing fingers at the parents for negligence. I mean, what do you think? A young girl who's got a page on like he, come on. The girl, I heard the girl is just going to be, I think she's 11 or so as of last month. Or going to be 11. So she's a minor, lady. that's the point. I mean, I yes, she's a lady. minor. So <laughs> now, minor. I feel 60% of the responsibility, if not 7 See, if not 70, is for, it falls on the parents. So you can't tell me the school is negligent. Yes, it's a fact. We accept that because they are outside your shores. They took them to another country for something else. Mm. But then, the other way around, would you tell me that something was happening to your child or your child has been exposed to such level and you had no idea? You didn't see the change. You weren't paying attention to her. No, no, no. Let's be serious. There's something I tell people. I don't have kids of my own yet. But I tell people, make your, your, your child, your son, your best friend. Yes. You make them comfortable enough to confide in like you, in everything. Life, you know? And you create time for them. Yeah. Talk to them. Nowadays, 
economy hard, he hard, my guy. But that okay. one, now you bring children come this world. You All can't right. take care of them. Okay, you yeah. have to be there for them. Now, Scott, okay. you said like your mom and you, yes. you know. Now, if you had a child, what would be your social media policy for that child? Well, I have to first of all make sure I monitor who you talk to. How? How do you do that? Now, let me. I said my mom and I. I remember when I was growing up, and my mom sat me down and gave me sex education. I keep saying it. She did. She did. Wow. She told me, "Son, you are now of age, <laughs> and this age, if you have anything to do with girl, you could get get person pregnant. Do you have money to take care of that?" I said, "No, ma'am. You're fine. Now, listen to me. Bible condemn this, but in case you want to do this, make sure that." You use your mom did this. Well, please, I like your mom. Tell her, tell her. Tell her. No, 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 no. We love you. That's, that's, that's alone. That she now said, any girl that you're meeting, bring the person home. Oh wow! Wow. So if you, some of them, you're running away, I'll tell you, you know what? I'm bringing you to my house. I want my mom to see you. Say, ah, your mom. No, no, no. no. Now what I'm trying to say is, to get to the first century parents, we seems to be very busy. Hustling, trying to make this money, and you know what? I don't want my child to give me distress. I'm going to get the person, make the person comfortable. No, but the truth by, stated by, or not, by, I don't think if you are less than 18, the... you should have anything to do with a mobile phone or social media. You okay. shouldn't be on social media. Even you for learning even purposes? That's why Somebody should, should monitor you. That, that's you should have that's it at home. Right. Parental control uh, yeah, should parental be Yes. Be, be okay, in okay. so what about the government? You know, the government shut down the school or has shut down the school. That, that's do you think they've done well? Do you think that, there is more to be done? That's what do you think about? Inappropriate. So they are just doing so what, what happened what? to the other students? So they are supposed to do something. That's no, why they no, did that. No, it's no. okay to shut it down. But okay. probably shut it's it down in, the in, in the interim while investigation is going no. on. No. So what happened to the other students that is still schooling there? What yeah. happened? So are you telling them they have to go what, home after paying school fees? What happened when that um, Dwayne boy died? They That's shut no it down for a while. Did, and now it's open. That, but, that, but that doesn't make it right. It doesn't make it right. But then it's the system. What I'm and it doesn't mean is, they won't open it. They no, will what open it. is get the students... The corporate, the people involved, sanction them. Is that you expel them or you? So here's the thing. So here's the thing. Before the video went online, on. the class, her teammates, mm. the teenagers right there knew about this video. The yes. people involved in that thing knew. Yes. The circle of friends within her class and other places knew yes. about it, but it's just that it hadn't gotten out for the public. No, they know why. They, 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 they know why they released the video yeah. when the mom came out and said that she was raped. So they have to dispute, yeah, they have to dispute and bring out the real clip. I said, Mao, is a liar. How do you do. think, how do you think they could have managed this? I mean, the Lagos State Government, the whole video. No, number one, the they should have just taken measures. both the school authorities, the teachers that were given the responsibility to supervise the kids and stay with them, and the individuals involved. They should have taken them to police station first. Can't prove this, and then number two, pull down their social media handles, okay. Let, shut it down. Police station, to work. <laughs> that's not a crime. Okay, guys, I mean, <laughs> no, the school is negligent. I'm going this to hold them for that. Even if I hold the parents, I will hold the school negligent for that. And right. then number two, you were aware right. of this a month before I found out, and you didn't even tell me. Okay. You didn't give me the the the, the power to decide what to do I need to whether right I want now. my daughter to All be right, exposed guys, to or right not. Now, now so, outside the <laughs> continent, outside this continent, come on, man, we can't dwell on this. I mean, there's a lot to be talked about. But then, let's go abroad right here. When um, there was a video we saw very recently. We, we saw one video, an amazing video that will definitely do you, but stick around. We'll go on a break in a bit. This is Popcasa. Welcome back. In case you're just joining us, hey, you've missed one half of it. But then, also the continent, video circulating the internet show, professional, oh, my heavyweight boxer, I mean, my heavyweight world champion, Mike Tyson repeatedly punching an unidentified passenger on a plane. The incident happened as Tyson was on a plane to fly out from San Francisco International Airport to Florida. Eyewitnesses' accounts say that the man and his friend boarded the plane and engaged Mike Tyson in a conversation. I mean, I or Mike was initially very cool with them and they even took pictures together. But eventually, he lost it. I mean, he wasn't cool with this guy. And Mike Tyson, the 55-year-old, decided to, you know, throw some punches. Eventually, Tyson had enough of the guy who was talking behind him right at his head, head or ear and told him to, you know, 
take a chill. When the guy didn't, then Mike Tyson gave him some KO punches. Well, some sources close to Tyson claim that the man was extremely intoxicated and wouldn't stop provoking the boxer in the seat. Report also says that the punchee received medical attention and then went to the police over the incident. Now, a lot of things on my mind. How do you guys think this played out? Mike Tyson, who is a, you know, super versus, you know, just a regular guy like you and I, Sam Scott. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I don't blame, I don't blame, um, uh, I don't know what to say actually, but I'm just feeling for Mike Tyson. I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, this is your fan that I've not seen you for a while, that have watched you when he was young or younger, and then seeing his, I mean, star, <laughs> celebrity, somebody he loves so well, okay. and try to like get overly. Yes, fine, yeah. that was an extreme because um, the report said that Mike Tyson was cool initially, took selfie with. Most of them, I don't know if I saw it, this guy coming. It's like, look at dude, man, you need to just sit down. Okay, well, that's the video over there. Have you, have, but, you had a, have you had a nasty but, experience with a fan before? Have you? But has the mother has nasty this thing cool be? Have they just just you? Just, ah, nigga, we come down, you, you're not okay. Here, all right, all right. Nigga. So, taking off that end from your mouth right now, do you yes. think that guy stood any chance of? You know, against Mike Tyson, like, you know, come on. Like, try to sue him or we'll sue him later? Ty Tyson there's, is 55 years. There's what do you no think? way. He doesn't stand a oh, chance. No. Number one, see, the legend normal legend. thing, you will respond to them. Yeah, he welcomed him. He responded to him. He took a selfie. Uh -huh. But telling me, I'm just hearing now, you said he was intoxicated or something. I think that's just an excuse. Fans can frustrate you, Okay. JJ. Now, that they leads to my next question. You. Why do you think or why is it that fans always get to that point of frustrating their models? And I think we are the one calling it frustration. You okay. Come, let's, be, let's be candid. You have not seen someone for a while. Okay, now, a friend of my, one of my boys came from... You want to use the word pressure? Me, no, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, one of my boys came from Putakot, and then we were flying down to someone of um, one of the celebrities in Lagos. And yeah. everyone was just walking on his own. It was like Lagos, so I don't care. So, see this person, see the people where they wash over, like we rush over. And he rushed, he wanted to take a selfie with the guy. And the guy looked at him, I was like, he's like, this person, you know the Lagos. Now, imagine here in Lagos, all of us are one. But outside Lagos, they want to see this person. Mm -hmm. You might um, have um, one of the celebrities in your estate. You mm -hmm. see the person, you come for um, a stage Drinks meeting. Together, he's there. And, and so he's normal. But outside, they, mm -hmm. they watch this person on television. Mm -hmm. They get overly excited. But they, they will watch see. you on television over and over. Yeah. Again, you know, um, our celebrity. Yes, you've been in, you know, here and there. Has any fan so far crossed his or border? Oh, yeah. DM? Oh yeah, I've had I've had a couple of experiences. No, DM, is, DM is, is like every it's a normal thing. But normal? I had an incident on my normal? live, okay, like Instagram live. Yeah. Literally, you know, you get to invite people. People want to join your live, and then I invited someone, and he was naked. Who on my live? Wow. A guy. Wow. Well, like Wig. what kind of like full Adamic? Yes, he was wiggling <laughs> on my live. Okay, okay. We, go, we go over to the beach <laughs> right now. <laughs> wow, I love things on my mind. Okay, we move over to the beach. Okay. The beach. That now, picture is The big here. question is what is the biggest cultural shock you've ever in your life faced? Well, uh, that was me coming to Lagos 2018, and early in the morning, around 8 o'clock in the morning, I saw people eating roasted corn. And ah. I was like, geez, what's happening? 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock in the morning, and by the time I turned, the next time somebody is whaffing a bottle of beer, and I was like, ooh. Was but, but that tells you that Lagosians wake up early. Yeah, uh, wake up early. Like like, so where I'm coming from, this is an evening meal. Like, where are you coming from? They didn't go, 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 they didn't But they can give you a bacha to eat in the morning, now you don't have no, problems. No, no, uh, please. No, a bacha never. Why are you talking to, to him? I'm talking to you. <laughs> you come from some place. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm not. No, but really, but really. <laughs> what about, please. What about, what so, about you, Paul? I, 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 I really don't think I've experienced anything out of the ordinary. Maybe because I've moved around a lot within Nigeria. Okay. So whenever I go to a state, the, the most I've seen is when you go to the north. Yeah. Mm. I cannot be opening body in the north. These things we see on social media, mm. you don't, you don't the have the freedom to do that Fantastic. in the north. The, you the, need to cover up or... when you are going out. You can wear your sleeveless and spaghetti and what mm. indoors, but okay. outdoor, please. I see some tweets right here. Mr. Thomas mm. Shelby OBE says, 
When I got to PH, that's Port Harcourt, mm -hmm. I went to the market and as a Yoruba boy, I called the market woman Mama. And she gave me that wicked, like, you the mad, Tani, tani Mama. <laughs> Look, I was confused till my babe, now my wife, mm -hmm. told, my, told me, bros, now until then they call them for hell. They um, know they call them mama. So you you see that? Uh, then I don't think that is like, you know, I went to the market to get um, Pomo. You know, they call it Pomo here. And where we're coming from, they call it Kanda. <laughs> <laughs> then the next one, Easy yeah. Mbono says, visit a friend somewhere in Ihembos in Anambra and they served me soup with frog. Ooh, frog. Due to our, 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 my upbringing, you eat the meat only when you're done with the food. Yeah. Laugh. I freaked out when, I t when it turned out that the meat and our, our served was a frog. A week, for a week, I thought I would die. Are you kidding frog me? Frog in Anambra. Frog. Never I thought it's Mbala now. Mbala, yes. Um, I don't know the area actually, but I know Mbala. It's called Mbala now. Not, uh, it's toad actually, not frog. Okay. Yeah, it's toad. It's... Yeah, it's edible toad and not yeah. frog. Yeah. Whether toad, whether frog, whether, yes. you know, that's it's all the same thing. You're supposed to inform the person before you serve someone such. Yes, like you I don't to know him or he's wrong. And they ask me, so do you eat um, dog meat? Like for uh, I said, oh really? I know I don't, but I would like to try it. No, where I come from, on those there are some places they eat dog too. Oh. But they won't just put it in your soup. They will tell you, ah, they'll, they'll this dog we are selling here. Oh, Talking there's about other eat. kinds of you know, cultures and every, several, several other places in the world, mm -hmm. Elvis Emenogu says, who apparently is in Sweden, he says, I had an appointment for 10.30 a.m. I showed up at 10 a.m. I was told to go back or hang around somewhere else, maybe a park, I was showing up early than your appointment. Earlier than your appointment is considered rude. Say what? Yeah. Okay. You know, so you don't do 30 minutes before time. You mm -hmm. don't come, like, say, five minutes before the time. And you don't just show up and, you know, chill around. That's in, in Sweden. Interesting. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's, but that's in Nigeria, in, we in, do, like, 30 minutes in, after. <laughs> 30, 45 minutes. Hey, guys, I don't want us to overshoot right now. You know, let's not be like the Nigerians. Thank you so much, Scott, for being around. Thank you, JJ. We really do it. it. Always, always. And B.O.B. Bob, <laughs> Ball and Lee, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> 30 minutes. Please don't be late on this show next time. This is the same time we come on. And please follow us on all social media platforms at News Central TV. My name is JJ Raymond. We'll continue this conversation shortly. Enjoy. <laughs>